We had two things on the agenda for the day. Uh, one was seeing the site of one of the most monumental events in history. And one was visiting Hiroshima. <laughs> so first we went to Hiroshima Castle, which got destroyed in the explosion but has been rebuilt. And we had a look there, and in the grounds of the castle there's a tree that survived being bombed by the A-bomb. That's still living. Good job, tree. And there's a shrine inside the castle in which they hold this really bizarre baby competition where you have two babies and the first baby to cry wins because there's like um superstition that the cry of a baby wards off evil spirits. There's a scientific basis to this whereby that crying is good for the sort of pulmonary cardio system and therefore babies should cry all the time to strengthen themselves. So if your baby's not, just flick it in the eye. And then we went to the A-bomb dome, yep. which was pretty near the epicenter of the explosion. So it basically just melted. They've kept it the way it looked exactly when the bomb exploded as like a, a reminder of the horrible crap that we do to each other, not to do it again. Apparently a really good spot for people to take selfies in front of. Toes. Yeah, I, I, found that, faces. I found that very weird. There was like... Lots of people taking like smiley like selfies next to a monument for a nuclear holocaust. These weren't Japanese people. No, these were tourists. But I mean, I'm a tourist and I didn't feel the need to be like. And then we decided enough of the sadness. Oh, we also went to an art gallery, but who cares? Then we went to Bunny Town. We did go to Bunny Town. Bunny Island it has a real name and it's called this. And it was an island where the Japanese army secretly made a load of poisonous gas and they needed something to test the poisonous gas on so they brought in some rabbits and once they stopped testing the poisonous gas on the rabbits the rabbits just sort of took over the island. Yeah, a few survived and then they did what rabbits do. And they're so tame. They like just run up to you because they think you've got food. So you turn up to the island and they're just like, just stampede at you. <laughs> and then as soon as you try and touch them, they're like, no, don't touch me. I only want your food, not your love. <laughs> Adam, how do you feel that bunnies hate you? Rejected. I feel rejected. I feel small. I feel insignificant. I feel like I want to cry. Maybe I <laughs> but the bunnies. You should be ashamed of yourself, Bunny. You've hurt Adam's feelings. Bunnies more like bullies. A bully bunny. <laughs> Literally the only thing on the island is one hotel and a, just a buttload of rabbits. Really fun and cute. It was kind of creepy as well because it, this island is obviously where they made poisonous gas, and there's like remains of the military operation, all decrepit, and there's like a silo in the middle of the wall where they burnt all the poisonous gas stuff when they decided not to make it anymore. And there's just like tons of tennis courts that have been like left to fester. to fester. Yeah, it was kind of creepy, especially when the lights start to go down. Then we jump back. Woo! Woo! <laughs> when the 
went into McDonald's. And we bought the weird thing off the menu because Japan always has one weird thing on the menu. And had this Halloween. T today's weird thing was chips with chocolate sauce and pumpkin sauce on the top. That's pretty clever. It's pretty good. Yeah, nifty. Also, it reminded me of school, you know, when you get the butter packets and you stab them with the fork and you push it, push the bottom, and the margarine just sort of squirts out little worms. I'm pretty sure no one else did that. They did that! <laughs> or at least they watched me do it in my school. <laughs> Another thing worth mentioning. Despite the fact it was raining all day, it was unbelievably hot and humid. So hot! So if, it... if there's a sheen, to us in all of the videos and photos. That is sweat. I wonder if it's an east versus west thing. Like there's microclimate in, in Tokyo and in Osaka. Maybe. Don't know. Don't know. She doesn't know. Don't know. Stop asking. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.